Prime Megatron. So how are we going to play this? Are we going to spend the next hour posturing? Or are we going to rise to the occasion and actually have a civilized conversation? Rise to the occasion? What is this, a summit meeting? I'm bolted to the wall, I'm riddled with inhibitor chips, and I'm precisely one last gesture away from being electrocuted to death. It's hardly conducive to a frank exchange of views. Fair point. Take a seat. Now, what did you want to talk about? You surrendered. Why? I thought we'd already had this conversation. No. We just went through the motions. You provoked me, I reacted. Same as always. What's happening to my, uh, to the Decepticons back on Earth, I mean? Who's taken my place this time? Forget the Decepticons. Right now, the war exists only in theory. For the purposes of what follows, there is this me and you and a conversation we have put off for far too long. I have been preoccupied. Worlds to conquer, enemies to crush with my bare hands. I spend most days scrubbing stale oil from my fingers. Megatron, everything you say. Do you realize this? Everything you say is steeped in hate. Ha! I learned to hate in a cell much like this one. And I have an Autobot to thank for it. An Autobot with friends in high places who taught me all about violence and its application. Now I live to hate. It sustains me. Sometimes I wonder if there is anything else left. Lust, rage, ambition. I am mowed beyond them all. In fact, I look back over the last four million years and recognize that there have been only two constants. Hate and you. I'm surprised you can differentiate between the two. Let me tell you something, Prime. I don't hate you. I hate what you represent, and I hate the obstacles you put in my way. But don't think I don't understand why you're trying to stop me. I forgive you that much. And you, do you hate me? I don't think I've ever heard you say it. Yes, no. I don't know how I feel about you. Hate is too simple a word. Too easy. It might sustain you, Megatron, but it diminishes me. I am lessened by it. Tell me, were you always this sanctimonious, or was it something you had to work at? Behold, the infallible Optimus Prime, wise, charismatic, compassionate, a red and blue paragon of virtue. How tiring that must be. The insecurity, the loneliness, the agonizing self-doubt. You speak as if you know me. You don't. I know you better than anyone, and it terrifies you. What terrifies me, if you must know, is the sheer monotony of it all. You and me, trading blows, making threats, going through the motions while everything we care about turns to dust. This war is an exercise in a galactic fratricide, a race-wide cry for help. Is it any wonder the Galactic Council has turned its back on us? Is it any wonder that the rest of the universe shields its eye in abject horror at what we have become? Entire civilizations have risen and fallen in the time it's taken us to get precisely nowhere at all. Ah, uh, but the rules of the game have changed, Prime. Our war is picking up speed. I remember when whole centuries would pass without a single shot being fired. Both sides would spend millennia preparing for battles that would be over by nightfall. And for what, Megatron? For what? I fought to stop you. You just simple as that. But you, what exactly were you fighting for? I thought I knew, but okay. Imagine you hadn't surrendered. Imagine you'd won. What would victory look like? What would it mean? Control, dominion, dominion over everything. The Cybertronian race assuming its rightful place about lesser species. A mechanical master race. Technorism, in other words. But no, that doesn't explain you. Not entirely. Not to my satisfaction. Let's play a game. I am dead. The Autobots are no more. 
Cybertron, or what's left of it, is yours. A hundred thousand planets heavenly sculpted, technoformed, colonized, whatever. The Decepticon Empire is resplendent, and there you sit, at the center of it all. Now what? Then the real work begins. Repopulation, the rebirth of the Cybertronian race, a new golden age, one that will put the Knights of Cybertron to shame. Imagine a civilization free from conflict, everyone's needs met, no want, no unhappiness, no dissent, peace through tyranny, and what of autonomy, personal responsibility, free will. Where do they fit into your brave new world? They won't be missed. In some respects, we're not that different. Peace, prosperity, contentment, that's what I want too. I just don't think you can impose those things. Don't even put yourself in the same category as me. I was a visionary. I spoke out. I resisted the weight of the Cybertronian state. And what were you doing? The Senate carved up the planet's population according to notions of utility. Your form dictated your function, and your function dictated your fate. Social engineering in the most literal sense. Someone had to say no, someone had to say enough. I was that person. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Where the hell were you and Cybertronians like me were forced to work in the mines just because we were made that way? I'm not the Cybertronian I was before the war broke out. Nor are you. Remember the first time we met? The Rorschach campaign, second cycle 087. The battle for Sherma Bridge. Sherma Bridge? I lost 5,000 Autobots that day. You cost me an army. You cost me an arm. You and that Energon axe of yours. Anyway, you're wrong. We met before then, at Rideon. Just before all that nominous prime business. Before the climb down. You have a better memory than I do. Either that, or I made a bigger first impression. If it wasn't for Rideon, I wouldn't be sitting here. Nor would you. They all stopped at Watts, didn't they? On Sherma Bridge, my Decepticons, the all Autobots, they all stopped to watch us fight. Wait a second. Which arm? My cannon arm. You always go for the cannon arm. All I remember is you throwing me off the bridge. It took Ratchet six weeks to find all the pieces and another six to put them back together. Didn't kill you, though. Did it? Nothing ever does. Sure, my bridge was nothing compared to some of the beatings you've given me over the years. Such as... Such as Battle for Hell's Point, when you took half my face off with your mace attachment. Or, or the Siege of Massenstrad, when you... When I trapped you in the antimatter chamber, they practically had to stitch me back together from the blast patterns on the walls. And don't even get me started on Brasnia. You want to play this game? The war's offensive. Start cycle 199. You sliced me in two, from shoulder to crotch, shoulder to crotch. You missed my spark by inches. And what about Rallon Moore, home to those sentient explosives you were so desperate to protect? I was reduced to cinders. They had to shower me into the CR chamber. And as for Hell's Point, used the Tremorcon Zeoscope to drop an entire city block on me. My first outing in my new body, and you shattered my transformation cog. I couldn't change shape for the next two years. I was in gun mode, Prime! In gun mode! Huh. Huh. We could end it, you know. We could end it right now. Because I don't care what's going on outside the cell. I don't care which second-rate opportunist has taken your place. Whether it's shockwave, or soundwave, or swindle, what it all comes down to, Megatron, is us, you and I. We could end this war right now, right now, with a handshake. Look me in the eye. Look me in the eye, and say you want it ended, and it will end. They want to see you dead, my Autobots. No doubt they're Decepticons too, after what you've done. What about you? Me? I just want to know why you surrendered. Does it matter? Of course it matters. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, Megatron. No more small talk. 
you're going to tell me why you surrendered. You seem rattled. Perhaps you shut up. I don't have time to spar. This is the last time we speak. Ah, uh, so I am going to be killed. The decision has not yet been taken. That's why I am here, to find out why you gave yourself up. Except, that's not quite what you want to know, is it? Rephrase the question, Prime. Rephrase the question, and I'll answer it. It's all because of you. Four million years, four thousand millennia of conflict. Innocent worlds disfigured in pursuit of a demented ideology. Galactic conquest as, as some sort of palliative for a crippling inferiority complex. Rephrase the question. Billions of lives ruined are raised on the very brink of extinction. Rephrase the question. Do you? Do I want Prime? Do I want? Do you even feel the slightest remorse? No. The misery. The suffering. And you regret nothing. Only that I didn't do more while I had the chance. All those you killed. Not enough. Not nearly enough. Understand this. So long as you stand in my way, so long as anybody stands in my way, I will respond by killing murder on an industrial scale. Because in the final analysis, I would happily wait across a river of corpses chest deep in rust and grease and engine oil just to crush the spark of the last Autobot standing. And I would do so not simply as a means to an end. No, I do it, Prime, because it would give me pleasure. You talk about killing. If I put a bullet between your eyes right now, the rest of the galaxy would stand upon a plot. And yet you stand there and keep talking. This isn't about me. Of course it's about you. It's always been about you. You're the most venerated Cybertronian who has ever lived. Hero, patriot, icon. And it's all thanks to me. Without this war, you'd be just another Autobot. Another wasted spark who left no trace. Another nobody. And that's why, deep down, you're glad for this war. What's a few million fatalities if it secures your legacy, eh? I know what you're doing. You are trying to goad me. You are trying to get a reaction. You want me to lash out at you. You want me to hurt you. Be careful what you wish for. Rodion, what you said, Rodion? It was Rodion, and I don't think I ever 